Have you ever eaten a chili or spicy food and a few seconds later you're like, oh my god, what is this sensation? Wow. And then a few seconds later you're like, oh my god, what is this sensation? Ah. Well, that sensation is called spice or spiciness and I'm here to tell you all about it. You see, the use of spiciness from chilies has been around for a very long time and has had multiple uses. For example, as pesticides for crops, you know, to water away the animals so that they don't eat the crops because if they eat the crops then the farmers will be very sad then another reason would be you know adding heat to our food you know to make spicy food and believe it or not chilies have been able to make a very successful american rock band now these people absolutely love eating spicy food and one thing you might notice is when they're eating said spicy food they would often say damn this tastes pretty spicy and normally i would agree but today i'm here to tell you that they are liars that's right it's gaslighting time. You see, spice is actually not a taste. What? Oh my god, my life is a lie. Yeah, it's not a taste, but rather it's a response of our body to putting said spicy food into our mouths. Well, firstly, what is a taste? Well, I'm sure you've heard this before, but there are five main tastes. We have sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and savoriness, also known as umami. Haha, <laughs> umami? More like umami <laughs> I don't know why I said that so what exactly is our body's response to the spicy food well you see all around our body we have these heat sensitive receptors called TRPV1 which stands for titties I'm just that's a joke so what TRPV1 does it basically detects the change of the temperature around you so for example if the weather outside is pretty damn hot the receptors will then detect that it's pretty damn hot then they will send a signal to your brain, your little meat skull. Then your brain will tell you, yo, it's pretty damn hot. And well, the same thing can be seen inside your mouth when you eat spicy food. So chilies, or should I say peppers, have this bitch ass compound called capsaicin. And this, this capsaicin is what causes the downfall of everyone's bowels. All right, all my homies hate capsaicin. So when eating spicy food, what happens is that the capsaicin actually binds with the TRPV1 receptors. And then this TRPV1 will send the signal to your brain to tell you, hey, your mouth is now hot and it should feel like it's burning. And this is pretty interesting because the food itself is not hot at all, you know, temperature wise. So what's happening is essentially the capsaicin is tricking our brain into telling us that we should feel like our mouth's on fire. Congratulations, you are being gaslighted by a pepper. You know, I find it so crazy that the human body is so complex, but at the same time, so incredibly dumb. All right, so what happens after this? All right, so you're eating your spicy food, nom 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 nom, and you're dying. Ah. Well now, because our body thinks it's on fire, it then tries to regulate its temperature. And how does it do this? Well, have you ever wondered why you sweat like a donkey when eating spicy food? Just sweat from everywhere, you know, even places that you didn't know it was possible. So what's happening is that your body is pretty much trying to cool itself off from heat that is non-existent. Again, body. Why are you like this? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, so now we know what spice is, but how do we actually measure it? You see, everyone uses something called the Scoville scale, which basically measures a pepper's spiciness or pungentness. So for example, on the Scoville scale, at a whopping zero, we have the bell pepper, which isn't spicy at all. And if you think it's spicy, I think you need a refund on your taste buds. Next, we have jalapenos or jalapenos, which sit around two to 8,000 Scoville units. And if you go even spicier, at a whopping 2.2 million Scoville units, we have the Carolina Reaper. And fun fact, the famous Hot Ones last dab sauce, you know, the last sauce that they all the celebrities eat and then they die. Ah! Well, that sauce is reported to be around 2 million Scoville units. And if you guys think that's spicy, you haven't heard of the pepper that's actually at the end of the Scoville scale. Well, it's a very special pepper and it goes by the name of Margus Robicus, which is definitely a real thing. Well, so moving on, have you ever felt insecure about your size? Aww. Well, I'm here to tell you that size does matter for peppers. You see, smaller peppers are considered to be spicier than larger peppers and are mostly preferred when you need more spice. Wait, so are you telling me the small ones do the job? And then that they're, they're perfectly adequate and then and then they maybe maybe the small ones have a great personality too. 
and then may maybe they can take you out to dinner. So the reason why small peppers are spicier than bigger ones is because they have more seeds and veins than the bigger ones. And in these seeds and veins contain about 80% of the capsaicin of a pepper. So that's why when you see chefs online or on TV, they tell you, oh, if you want to reduce the heat, um, take out the seeds. So by doing that, you actually remove most of the capsaicin from the pepper. So you reduce the heat. So a question you might have is, so why do people actually like eating spiced food if it causes them so much pain? Well, there isn't really any scientific proof, but a reason could be is that when we eat spicy food and then we go through all this pain and we die, our body then counteracts this by releasing endorphins and dopamine, which are also known as happy chemicals. So in a way, you get kind of a, a thrill or a high from eating spicy food. And another reason is that I think people are just dead on the inside. All crazy. I don't know, maybe both. Who knows? So yep, that's all I have to talk today about spice and peppers. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and goodbye. I don't know why about.